Hello, welcome to this video that's being produced by Cat Labs for Jobo USA. Join us on www.jobo-usa.com for more videos and tutorials, including the manual for this very special tank we're going to talk about today, which is the Jobo 2400 Daylight System Processing Tank. This tank is kind of like a magical tank that Jobo used to do back in the day, and unfortunately they don't make it anymore, but it's still readily available. What's magical about this tank is that it allowed the user to process his films in the field without ever having to use a dark bag or a changing bag or any darkroom of any kind. And so photographers or photojournalists that were in the field could process their own films without ever having to leave their position. And let's look a little bit at how it works. So in order to demonstrate how this tank works and how we can actually load it in the field, we're going to do a little demo with our uh, test HP5 uh, roll of film. And we're just going to load it out of the tank to see how the tank will actually work. So first of all, let's look at the components of the tank. We have our chemical, leak, uh, chemical cover seal, which is going to prevent the chemistry from falling out of the tank when we process it. And then we're going to just take the tank apart and we're going to cut it in half and we're going to take out this special reel. The reel is actually made out of two parts, the top part and the bottom part. What's interesting about this top part is that not only is it going to auto load the film, but it also has this automatic cutter, which is going to just be screwed down and going to separate the cassette from the film after the film has been loaded into the, into the reel and everything's going to happen in a light tight chamber inside the tank. So let's take a look at how this is actually going to work. We're going to start with the bottom half of the tank. And what we're going to start with is a film that has its leader cut pretty much straight. And you don't have to be precise because in the field you might not have scissors. You just want to be able to load it in the film. And we're going to align it with the slot here and going to push it down all the way. <clears throat> and what we want to do is we want to make sure that the lead edge of the film is caught on the first sprocket leader on the bottom half of the reel. Then we're going to take the top half of the reel and we're going to clip it in. And we're going to hear it for that. We're going to wait to hear that click. And we're going to help the top edge grab the leading edge. And then what we're going to do is just like a regular auto load on a 35 millimeter reel from any company. And we're just going to push it forward. And as you can see, the film is being pushed forward and is being loaded. Once we feel resistance after we've loaded the entire film, we're going to screw down the cutter. By screwing it down, the cassette is going to be pushing out the dark, the light sealing plug on the top here, allowing us to pull out the cassette for processing. And I'm just going to pull it out and I'm going to tap. And now I have the cassette in my hands, the film's loaded on the reel, and now we're ready to process. All we have to do is pour in our chemistry and process. Of course, all this is going to be done inside the light sealed tank. And let's see how we do that. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to finish up this roll of film that we have loaded in this camera. And it just happens to be a 35 millimeter roll. And we're going to load it in the tank, process it with our chemistry that we brought out here today. And we're going to see how it works. So let's just finish up this roll. We only have a couple more shots left. One more. All right, there we go. Let's rewind our film. down. So for today we have a roll of HP5 and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut off the top end of the leader and we're going to start by just starting the load on the roll and on the reel and then we're going to load it in the tank. So again we're going to just start it in the slot here. Make sure that it's caught on the first sprocket. You're going to load the other half. All right, and we're going to make sure that it pulls through. And now we're going to load the reel into the tank, make sure that our cutting screw is locked all the way out, and we're going to close everything nice and tight. Okay, and now we have access to the back and forth motion uh, to 
to load the film. Let's just see one more time. Make sure everything. Oh, there we go. Now I just want to make sure that everything's aligned. Okay, I'm going to close it nice and tight, and we can hear it load. Now Jobo has instructions in the manual that will tell you how many sprockets equal each frame. So if you want to only load a portion of a film, or if you have a pre-cut roll and you want to know how much you load, I think it's two twists per each frame, which will make 72 frames for a 36 uh, shot roll, which this is. But we'll just load it all the way through until we hit the end. And what's going to happen is we'll feel a little bit of resistance at the end of the roll, which means we reach the end and we want to cut it and get the cassette out. Alright, it's getting tight. Alright, that was absolutely the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist in the cutter and I'm just going to cut the roll. And it's going to pop out the black plug, which I'm going to put aside and take the cassette out. And let me just show you this. That's how far it went. So we're at the end of the roll. Alright, now let's make sure everything's nice and tight. This tank takes 450 milliliters of liquid in order to process the film. So it's not the most efficient, but in the field, if you're using any kind of one-shot caustic film, it really is not that bad and you make a high dilution, it's pretty easy. So today, we're gonna to be using P76 at one to one and in this nice fall, late fall Chicago afternoon, it's a uh, brisk 50 degrees, but our, our developer is still around 20 degrees centigrade. So we're just gonna go ahead and start our process. And let's get a timer first before we start. All right, so we have our 450 milliliters developer D76 at 101, our film in the tank, which gives us a 30 minute processing at 20 degrees. And we'll see just what we're gonna do. And let's start by just loading in our chemistry. All right, I'm gonna close the tank. Our handy assistant has started a timer. And we'll just give a quick look at the watch. Okay, and we're just gonna do this regular inversion, which means a full first minute of inverting, and then 10 seconds at the top of every minute, or five seconds at the top of every 30 seconds. Your choice, either way, you're just gonna be fine. And since we don't really have anything to tap the tank on uh, in order to get the bubbles out, we'll just tap it gently with our fingers at the end of each inversion sequence. All right, so you're joining us for the last 10, 20 seconds of the developer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour out our developer and we're gonna immediately move to our fixer. So if we we're gonna use uh, any stop bath or water, we can have that as a luxury in the field. We don't really have that option. So we're just gonna do it as fast as possible. And here goes our developer. Now you notice that the tank didn't leak at all while we were doing our developer, but since the rim is now wet, it's probably going to drip a little bit when we move to our fixer. All right, and we're going to just add about 450, 500 milliliters of fixer. That looks about right. Just add a little bit more. And Try to get the lid on as tight as possible. Try to get as least of leaking. And we're just gonna invert it just as we were before and gonna rotate it as we invert in the same way. All right, so we're just at the very end of our fixer stage and we're just gonna pour out the fixer and we're gonna see if the magic happened. So let's carefully take off the lid and get our fixer out. Make sure we got everything out. Now we're gonna undo the lid. And let's see what we got. All right, let's see. All right, ooh, we got picture, pretty good. All right, 
So let's put it all back. Uh, let's see. All right, let's put everything back. And what we're going to do now is put this back. What we're going to do now is just put some H2O in here. Just so we can put it in a holding pattern until we get uh, ready to continue with this. So basically all we have left to do is we're going to make sure our film is fully washed. Then we're going to put in some wetting agent. We're going to hang it to dry and we all will be all done. And this is basically how you process a film in the field without ever needing a dark room or dark space. While the Jobo 2400 daylight system processing tank is no longer being made, you can still find its manual on the new Jobo USA website at www.jobo-usa.com where you can find many other manuals for other Jobo products and other resources and archive materials. This video has been produced by Cat Labs for Jobo USA. Thanks for watching.